I want to talk about something that we have to understand and something that we have to practice as well. Let me say this first though. The more people that I speak to, you know, <laughs> to be honest, let me say this. The type of person that I am, I am a person like, how can I say this? I am a guy that is always, or most of the time, I am to myself like I am alone and many times or I like being alone but because I want people or more people to serve God I talk to more people so because I am the type of person that likes to be alone I really don't or before I did not really know much about people and what they go through and stuff like that. And the more people that I speak to, I am finding out that many people have rejection issues. And when they have those rejection issues, like you will find people who get really angry quick, get really offended quick, really cry, cry quickly over anything. So many things. So we have to know that there are people who have rejection issues out there. And I am not saying that, hey, I am pointing my finger at them and, you know, I am making fun of them and stuff like that. No. We just have to be aware of people who have rejection issues. Give me a second, please. So... Let's say that you have an issue with a person that have rejection issues. In some cases, not every case, but in some cases, not every case, people with rejection issues get offended so easily. And in some cases, people with rejection issues have a level of selfishness as well. Does that make any sense? Like, they may care a bit about other people, but they care more about themselves than anyone else. Does that make any sense? Okay. <laughs> when you deal Let's say that you have an issue with a person with rejection issues. In many cases, it is best to keep your mouth closed. Why do I say that? Even if that person that has rejection issues have done you wrong, and they know that they have done you wrong, when you confront them about it, they are just going to escalate the issue. They may raise their voice. They may curse at you. They may call you names, like very mean and rude names and stuff like that. So in the cases as these, it is best to not say anything to them. Does that make any sense? Look, people know when they are doing right or wrong, but 
why even say anything to someone if it is not going to change anything? Why even confront a person if it is going to escalate the problem? Many times, look, we already have problems, but you are making your problems much larger if you choose to confront these people and even if you are saying things in a very polite way, in a non-rude way, those type of people are going to just make things worse. We have to understand that we are going to reap what we sow. So if you do good, good things are going to come to you. If you do evil, evil things are going to come to you. So when those, when that person with rejection issues do anything with you or do anything wrong to you, you have to know that God is going to punish them. So we don't have to talk back or like, hey, why did you do this to me? Because in some cases, they are going to lie when you confront them. And if you keep pushing, they are going to escalate the issue, making a bigger problem, which it is not worth it. And I am sure that we all know some people like that. And the best thing to do is to pray for them, not get into this argument or this fight with them, you know, trying to show them what they did wrong when they already know. But like I said, they care about themselves more in some cases they care about themselves more than anyone else so when you deal with people who act in this way the best thing to do is to close your mouth you know I have people comment to me saying hey you know I am having a problem with this person. I am having a problem with that person. Don't argue with them. Just close your mouth and pray for them. Because if you argue with them, it is going to make things worse. They know what they are doing is wrong. For instance, <clears throat> Like, this is really crazy. Like, so many people, or some people, like, back to back, just, I am not going to say what they did, but very crazy things. Like, even when you are nice to them, they still are willing to stab you right in the back, which is, I don't understand it. But what I could have done, like, hey, why did you do this and that? But I know that it would turn into an argument. So let me just play dumb and act like I don't know what you are doing and let you believe that you are very smart or very cool or whatever and let you think that, you know, everything is okay. Which is, well, I am not going to say that everything is okay, but I am not going to make an issue out of it. Because I know that you are going to reap what you sow. Since you have done me wrong, and I am choosing not to confront you or do you wrong, because even if you take from me or do me wrong, I am going to do you right either way. So I am going to reap what I have sown toward you. And I am going to be
blessed for what I am doing to you. And you are going to be cursed for what you have been doing to me. So, I win either way. Yes, it may not feel too good, but hey, that is life. So I pray that this makes sense and you have to have the same mindset as well. Because even if you are right, even if you say things in a very polite way, even if you are really kind, kind in saying what you are saying toward that enemy, it is best to say nothing because it may escalate and make you more angry and frustrated and stuff like that, which it is not worth. Does that make any sense? So, you know, you may be having problems with your husband, your wife, your daughters, your sons, your dad, your mom, whomever. Close your mouth. Well, Kevin, you know, I have to say something. No, you don't. That is your pride speaking. You don't have to say anything. 95% of the time, I don't say anything. Maybe a higher percent. I really don't say anything because I don't want to get mad and... I don't want the problem to get larger. Because let's say on a scale 1 through 10, the issue is at a 6. And if you say anything, it could escalate to a level 9. What's the point? No, just stop right there. Go to your room or calm down. Really, what you should do is pray about it. Does that make any sense? Don't say anything. So I pray that you have learned something from this. Because I know for myself, I was tempted to say something to multiple people. Like, hey. But I knew that demons, look. You are not arguing or fighting with the humans. You are fighting or arguing with the demons within those people. So why even waste your time with the human? How about you do warfare against the demons? And you may say, hey, Kevin, how do I do warfare against the demons within those people. Okay, pray, read your Bible, go on a fast, pray. I believe I said pray already. That's how you war against those demons. Don't insult those people back. You are fighting or insulting a demon, which it does not work. Does that make any sense? You are warring against the demons, not the human. So it is insane to stoop down to the level of demons and get into sin because another human is... Let me choose my words wisely. Just because another human allows a demon to influence them. You want to maintain your salvation, not lose it because someone frustrates you. Does that make any sense? You don't want to get frustrated by silly things like that because it may be a test. I believe for the last month or so, I believe, I believe my faith have been tested more than usual. <laughs>
I mean, I won't say my faith, but my patience. My patience have been tested more than usual this past month. So, you may be going through a test as well. And you want to pass the test that God allows on you. Because the more test you pass, the higher that you are going to elevate in God. Does that make any sense? It is easy to go to a church every Sunday and Wednesday. It is easy to say that you love God and blah, blah, blah. But it is more difficult to, actual, to actually live for God and do his ways and stuff like that. So, talk is cheap, per se. Show me action. It is all about your actions, how you live your life. Well, it is words as well, too, but mainly how you live your life. Does that make any sense? So, to get back to my main point, close your mouth. If people do you wrong, close your mouth. Unless you know that they are not the type of person to go all crazy and yell and argue and curse at you and stuff like that. Does that make any sense? God bless.